Got the pump out here at the Winter Nationals for NHRA and Promoter. We were at the Ford Performance Group, and they've got a couple cool toys. We're going to check it out. This is Steve with Ford Performance. We're going to take a look at what's in the back of this Lightning right now. Come, come with me. Better get a good look at that first, and then we'll talk about it. All right, see, what, is, what the hell is this thing here? So it's a big tank of water. Move back on this way. You're hearing it. There you go. That we can use to, if if there was a thermal event with the battery packs, which there has not been, we have great liquid cooled battery packs. This is a, the 1800 horsepower Cobra Jet. Yes. Okay. Yep. So it's they have the 1800, 1800 horsepower Mustang. Mustang here. So we're going to take a look at that in a minute. electric 800 volt car. <laughs> But and this, so if we, something happens wrong with it, this is what we're talking about. Yeah, this is our support vehicle, which is a Lightning, and it is the Pro model Lightning, but with the big extended range battery back. Okay. So uh, it works very well for us. It's able to carry all this weight in the back, no problem. So if something goes wrong with the with the, with the Cobra Jet, you plug this in and flood the battery. Yes. There you go. Okay. And then we also have this cool fireman type nozzle that connects onto it as well if you wanted to just hose it down. Hose it down. Very cool. Very cool. All right. All right. So and we're going to go take a look at the Cobra Jet for this, but go, I'm sorry. Go yep. ahead. If you see the other NHRA, they have their safety safari crew that has gas vehicles with a similar setup in the back. But we've got the fully electric Mustang Cobra Jet 1800, Super Cobra Jet 1800. And so, of course, we wanted to have a fully electric support vehicle as well. Awesome. All right. Well, let's go look at that Cobra Jet. We'll be right back. All right. So now we are at the Cobra Jet 1800 horsepower Super Cobra Jet. All Super right. Cobra Jet 1800 fully electric Mustang from Ford Performance. So we just ran a 7.759 at 180 Woo! miles per hour in the quarter mile. Yeah, move it. Really wow. quick, quicker than any Tesla, even the Plaid, and, <laughs> and any yeah. other full-bodied electric car, actually. This is the quickest car here. So yeah, let me sure. show you under the hood. This is the inspection we needed, boys and girls. Woo, look at that sucker. So it's actually like any other Mustang. It's rear-wheel drive, but it has four electric motors. Wow. But they're in two double-stack canisters, basically. The motors are made by Cascadia Motion Systems and the motor controllers in Oregon. So it's also a West Coast, a lot of, a lot of West Coast components in it, as well as Ford. But um, so we've got one motor here, one motor there, and they're like Siamese together. So they share a common shaft that goes through them. Then there's another double stack of motors identical down below. And then at the back, we have a big gearbox connecting the two. And then at the base of the gearbox, it's got something else unique for an electric vehicle, which is an actual transmission. Okay. And in the earlier iteration of this car, we had the Cobra Jet 1400, which was supposed to be 1400 horsepower, and it actually was making at the rear wheels 1502. Wow. Um, but it had a, um, a automatic transmission, and now we have a Liberty five-speed transmission in it with a clutch. And so it goes from at basically at the back of the bell housing there. Uh, from there back, it's similar to a normal okay gas okay. drag racing Mustang, but it's got a very smooth, extremely torquey, powerful electric power plant up front. Um, all of the orange cables, as with any electric vehicle, that's signifying high voltage stuff. They're very large because of the amount of amperage we push through these motors. <clears throat> Since there's four motors. There's four motor controllers, and that's what these are. They're from Cascadia Motion as well. And these are actually liquid-cooled. A cool thing about electric vehicles, I mean, something that I love about them is you've got one rotating part in that motor. <laughs> right. And, I mean, it's basically a cylinder with a bearing in each end and a bunch of copper wire wound around and stuff. And um, so they're very efficient. And whereas a gasoline or a diesel, uh, you know, internal combustion engine vehicle, Maybe you're looking at 12 to 24 percent efficiency. So from that fuel, what actually makes it to pushing you down the road is only 12 to 24 percent or so of that. The rest is being wasted as heat and noise and pollution and stuff. With an electric vehicle, these motors can be over 90 percent efficient. That's and amazing. so yeah. it's incredible. And the, the size of it for the amount. So here with these four motors that we have, we're making 1800 horsepower. And for the size of those motors, it's incredible. So the power density of 
an electric powertrain is far superior to an internal combustion engine of any type. However, the fuel side of the equation is, is just the opposite. Right. So we're using the latest high power batteries for this because the goal is to get down the quarter mile as quick as we possibly can with this particular car. And even with the best lithium batteries <laughs> built to be lightweight and everything for this car, um, we still, it, you know, well, there's four battery packs. So it's 800 volt pack. There's one battery pack here. There is one behind the driver's seat, one in the trunk. And we also took out the passenger seat and put another one there to really, <laughs> wow. really push it. So we filled it with as much <laughs> batteries to get as much voltage and power as we possibly could into this one. And then the proof is in the pudding yeah, sure with is. the seven second quarter mile pass. That is amazing. So yeah. now, so this, is this the same car as the 1400, just with new components in it? Basically. Okay. And, and yet it's very, it's been completely gone through a bunch of it. So. The battery pack is completely new, and the rear end is completely new. It's done um, locally here by PMR, okay. um, and so they you can come look around at the back. But it's got and since it's built as a purpose-built drag car, it has a four-link rear suspension and wheelie bars and everything. And so the I don't know if it's kind of low now, but if you look up under there or under the back, you can see the fancy two. <laughs> reinforcements and everything that they've done back there so this vehicle did start out you know ford sells the gas cobra jet as a race car for people doing bracket racing and stuff and so this chassis started out as one of the it's, it's the same chassis so it's a real mustang chassis um and there's still actual parts of the steel unibody and stuff there it's not just a complete two-frame car and we got the, the actual firewall and um we we did have it go on a diet as much as we could. <laughs> so like the door is completely carbon fiber. The window is Lexan polycarbonate. And so this door, I can lift with one arm when we, we take the door off. Wow. Cause actually in our transport trailer, you know, since the car is wide and stuff, we just take the driver's side door off and have a hanger for it on the wall. And that way you can get in and out of it to move it in or out of the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. So is your team, the team that's also working on the uh, Pikes Peak cars and all that, or just, you know, that's this one another here? one. So okay. I work with, uh, MLE race cars, McHugh lane electric race cars up in Seattle, Washington. And we partnered with Ford performance and AEM and, uh, PMR on this. And, um, so we built the battery packs working with Ford and everything. And, um, then did, did a lot of the integration of all of this. And, um, so yeah, we're also out here on the West Coast. Okay. Great. And there's, um, some of the buttons down there for changing the modes on the screen. It has a little screen. You can see battery information and RPMs and all sorts of cool stuff. And then, um, you can shift since it does have a transmission, you can shift the gears with the buttons down there. Okay. Um, it has a very substantial roll cage, as you can see, because since it is an electric vehicle, it is heavier than you would expect a normal gas vehicle of this type to be with all those batteries. Um, so it has a very robust roll cage to make it safe. And um, then, yeah, Sparkle racing steering wheel, um, lightweight racing seat, radio to communicate with the driver. You can see the flood ports and stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say I saw battery pack. I saw one flood port in the in the front. This is the second one. Is this yep. a, is there a third one or is this it? There is one on the other side as well in the quarter window. So you have to you have to know which what is what. Um, potentially or yeah. So depending on where if if there were to be a thermal event or something, yeah, you different ports go to different battery packs. Um, the front one of course is separate, and then the side one here as well so you checked it got you sick right there it's crazy that is out there yeah big big cable so this is like really literally answers. one rolling battery and motor is what it is <laughs> kind of in a in a beautiful mustang exactly. body exactly yeah i like that it's a you know, a lot of people come up and like oh this is a real mustang I'm like yeah it is a mustang um and carrying on the cobra jet legacy of making fast mustangs only with a new modern twist and it's fully electric, zero emissions, and the torque is extreme. It does 
huge wheel stand, uh -huh. so we need the wheelie bars on the back. <laughs> so funny enough, we, we did an event on Sonoma Raceway, and they had the 1400 version. Of yes, okay. And I Holly actually High got to stand tr uh, dr uh, trackside. Fantastic. When they had that, yeah, Holly High Voltage. Yeah. And that sucker, 1400 horse. Oh, whoa. Yeah. I can't yeah. imagine with 800. We, we missed them running, unfortunately, but... Uh. Uh, but we did see this at a 1400 go down the strip and it went yep. quick. I think it was yep. an eight, something like that. Yes. Our quickest time with the Cobra Jet 1400 was an 812 yeah. at like 171 miles per hour, almost 172 miles per hour, basically. Yeah, we were so there for that and quick. we dragged our, our tests and went on that race here. That was fun. But it was cool. really cool to see, I had to be up close to the track side and this sucker yeah. just launched and just twist in and then went really mark. So it was really cool. Well, hey, thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate the tour. Ford Performance, you know we love it. FPump.com.